YouTube, we are in the top eight of the Meta Weekly every single week. The top 16 was insanely epic. Make sure to check out that video. Then also check out the top four video. Hajime, join on YouTube. Subscribe on Twitch to join. Let's go. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Graph, special summon, set, pass, that's it. A Burning Abyss dies if there's a non-Burning Abyss alongside it. Fog Blade negate him from milling two cards. No mill for you. What's his follow-up? He's got no follow-up? Wow, what is this, Boomer Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay. We got the boots. That'll destroy the grass. Special summon the boots. Let's get popping off with Cherubini. Cherubini, send the another graph. He plays two graphs. Two graphs. Graph summon, sir. You don't play two graphs in Phantom Knights. We're going to Shokan into the Rusty. Rusty, send a Phantom Knight. Grab a Phantom Knight trap from the deck and set it. Cherubini summon back onto the field to the effect of the sir. Sending the scales, grabbing the shade, banishing with ragged, triggering the torn scales to summon from the graveyard. The ragged is sending the cloak, cloak banish, grab the shade. And now we're going to activate the scales to summon. That will trigger the shade to summon onto the field. Are we making Rongo or are we one turn killing? What is this? The gamma cannot negate as long as there is a Raiden on the field. So as, as soon as the Raiden's off the field, that's when he's going to be able to negate. If you keep the Raiden on the field, your opponent cannot in permanence. They cannot Gamma, so it's very good to keep a monster on the field. Bamboo into... Where's level four? Keck, wait. Where's Rongo? Did we Bamboo with no level four? <laughs> we got Bamboo to negate a monster effect. It has more effects than just boosting up your Rongo. Axis, Code Talker... Wipe up the field, bamboo, negate anything that would be activating. Pop in the Raiden, open field, lethal damage, and Jax Leo taking an epic game one victory in the top eight. Let's go to game two. Call up the grave, negate the ash. We will be searching for the assault beast. Then we're going to summon the assault beast to make a Christron Halk. Are we Halkin? Nibiru, tributing the entire field. If you visit me on Twitch tomorrow, tomorrow, not only are we doing a meme tournament or a TCG banlist tournament, but I'm going to be reviewing the Fluanderese, why it's hated, how to counter it, what combos to do. I'm going to be reviewing the adventure combos, the easy one card combos, why it's good, why it's bad, what decks are going to use it. So tonight off stream, I'm going to get it all ready. And then tomorrow, I'm going to review all of it. So there's going to be a, a big showcase of Fluandries and Adventure tomorrow. Chair Rabini from the Graveyard with the effects of the Sir. We're going to Phantom Knight, Rusty, set the shade, send a Phantom Knight. We're going to cloak, banish, grab the shade. We're going to shade, summon, activate to summon the Greaves, that is. Greaves and Shade making Rongo. With the Bamboozoo, equip onto the Rongo, making it five materials. Activating to wipe out the Mascarina. Now the Rongo states your opponent cannot Kaiju, they cannot Normal, they cannot Special, they can only set back row set monsters. And if it had five materials, it could wipe out that set card. We lost our fifth material. We're not going to be able to wipe out the fields. Let's go. Only five? Tour Guide, activate, come forth, and summon a Labic. Labic could summon Sir. We're summoning the Sir. Boosting up the Rusty. Shokan is the Break Sword. Rusty, get popping. Smacking him with the Rongo. Follow up with the Rusty. Hitting him with the Levier. And lethal with the Cherubini. That is a 2 0 victory, advancing to the top four with the Burning Abyss deck with some Phantom Knights. Emergence. Ooh, we got the Sword Soul Mirror Match. You love to see it. Impermanent Gate that Mo Yi. 
Now, what counterplay do we have for our opponent? We have a max C on their turn. They have called by the grave to negate the max C. So this will be a fair duel. Set blackout pass. Holy shite. A single imperm stopped his whole turn. No, you should max C here because he could be drawing into the call by the grave. And you just lost out on drawing with the Ecclesia. You, you, bro, what the hell? Now he's going to max C, but then get call by the grave. And what if he drew into call by the grave with the pot of D, right? Th you literally throw the whole duel by not max Cing early. He could have drew into that or drawn to Ash. You have to max C the pot of D. Why didn't he special summon Ashuna? Before summoning Mo Yi, that's when he had to do it. Taya, banish, come forth and summon a token. He can make himself level seven. Blackout's gonna get popping though. He's not gonna be able to make a Yazi or make a backseat of return. Follow up summon with the Mo Yi. He special summoned the Ecclesia to make that play. Send a worm, add a Ten Yi. We have Grandmaster and a Long Yun. This should be wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, lethal damage. 1,200 damage, 28, 3K, 12, and that's a GG. We're going to Ashuna, summon the Shuda, Shokan into Draco Berserker. And just like that, game two. Emergence, we got Max C. Max C is our only play. We have nothing to stop the Max C. Now, how far do you go when you get max seed? You are going to already give them one draw, so you might as well give them a second draw to go into Grandmaster. Grandmaster into Blackout could be very good. He does have Valor and Nibiru. Blackout gets searching. Mo Yi get drawing. Chainlink block the Ash Blossom. Very good. Standard. He just drew into Protoss. Okay, set blackout, pass. How do we break effect Valor, Nibiru, blackout, and the Grand Mastery? He's got quick effect, targeting, negates. He can negate that right now. It targets so he could dodge being targeted by the negates with the Heavenly Dragon Circle. Not everyone's playing this card, but it dodges Valor, it dodges Impermanence, it dodges the Grand Master. Yoink, tribute is a cost. Can't play around it. We're still gonna get our token. And then you could generally grab a Shathana. Or he's uh, grabbing a Taya. Okay, uh, he already he did not commit to his normal summon yet, so that's good. He did special summon Ecclesia to get that Mo Yi out, so grabbing the Taya is very good. We're going to send a Worm at a Ten Yi, sending the Vashuda to return the Blackout back to the hand. Blackout can only be activated if there was two cards in the field to pop. We have Effect Veiler for the Taya, but then he could use the token in the Taya to Synchro, so it's not a good Veiler. Baxia. Should we veil this? He c Here's the thing. If you don't Nibiru right now, he's going to make a Chao Fang. And with Chao Fang, Chao Fang is going to say, you cannot Nibiru, you cannot affect Veiler. You can't Veiler the Chao Fang, you can't Nibiru, you can't Veiler, so he's got to do something. This is his last opportunity to Nibiru. You, I think you had Nibiru, right? And hold on to Veil? Bro. If he goes Chao Fang, that's it. That's it. You can't Nibiru. Nibiru is now legal. Holy shite. He Veiled and didn't Nibiru, and now he can't Nibiru. Oh my Jesus. We're going. We're popping off. Long Yun, discard, come forth, summon a token, Shokan into Cheng Ying. Long Yun, burn for 1200 Kek W. Ashuna, banish, summon a worm, trigger the Cheng Ying, banish the Grand Master, banish in the graveyard. Lethal damage, and we can't Nibiru. All right. It's okay. Grab Medulce. We got no hand traps. We got full Medulce turn one. You have a negate plus return any two cards from either player's graveyard back into the deck. 
We're going to Pankra Top, Pankra Tops, Tribute Cell, pop a card in the field. Attempting to take out the Promenade. Does not take out the Promenade. That was a 50-50. He blew it. Miscellaneous Source going to make ourselves unaffected by activated effects, but the Glass is going to return the Dinosaur back in the deck before it can activate to summon the Arcosaur. Imperm is going to negate. Promenade may negate the Imperm. Yes. Negate the Negate Glass. Return the Miscellaneous back in the deck. You're not going to summon the Arcosaur, and then I guess you don't have any play Besides using Pot of P. Pot of P is going to be the play. All right, Pot of P. Pot of P. You can't misc again. How are you going to get the misc in the graveyard? If your dinosaurs are already unaffected, then what do you do? OV Raptor grabbing the misc. Keck, wait, I can't activate my misc. I end my turn after attacking into an indestructible by battle monster. I guess there was nothing else to activate, but main phase two, we could misc. So we could not misc in main phase one. So there you go. That, that does work out. Only in main phase one, if you are already unaffected by your pawn's activated card effects and your dinosaurs, can you not ask activate miscellaneous source again? But if you activate misc, you could chain a second misc to your misc. So if your misc is going to be disrupted or something's about to happen, you could get double misc in the graveyard. But once the first misc resolves, you could not use a second one within that main phase one. Now that we're in main phase two, we're no longer unaffected by activated effects. Now we can miscellaneous source and do our nearly full play. We maybe had to chain promenade to the misc to make the OV Raptor be negated. Is that a good idea? If we negate the OV Raptor preemptively, then the OV Raptor is not going to be able to pop the baby to summon a baby. Uh, what are we holding the promenade for now? Promenade could negate the pill. We could negate the pill. Pill get negated. OV Raptor would have been negated by promenade if we used it on the activation of the misc. Raptor, pop the baby. Baby activates, summon a giant Rex. We're going to Shokan into the Scrap River, and we could promenade negate that. We could negate that. We're not negating that. Pop in the Scrap Raptor. Wyvern's going to pop your Promenade. Non-targeting pop your Promenade. You had to, like, I think that's the, you had to negate. You gave too much advantage by not negating, and now, wait. He didn't pop Promenade. What? The heck? He impermed. He already Promenade the Imperm, did he? Oh, that's a new one. Okay, 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 thank you. I got mixed up. There's a lot going on here. That's a newly set promenade. He has no negates. Correction. Thank you. We know what's going on. Double evolution pill. Double banish. Come forth and summon ultimate conductor Tyranno, which could flip the entire field face down by destroying a monster in the hand or on the field. Tornado dragon could pop the promenade so it does not get usable next turn. Popping promenade still good. It just was not usable this turn because it was a newly set one. There we go. Imperm dead. I think he tricked him. He's now going to maintain main phase one and go into double Tiramisu, return the entire field back. But the Apollo's going to negate Tiramisu. The Borlode's going to negate Tiramisu. How do we play around all those negates? Maintain main phase one. He is retaining it. Take out Apollo. Now we just have to worry about the Borload. If Borload negates, then we're going to make Tiramisu. Activate Salon. Activate Ticket. Special Summon. Set a Medulce Spell or Trap. Grab a Promenade. It's not going to be activatable. He, he ate the Negate. He ate the Negate. You're now going to get Tiramisu, mate. That doesn't even destroy the petting. Oh, boy. You're done. You're done. He's gonna. You're gonna lose your whole field now. Main phase two. The power of Medulce. Return. Return. Back in the deck. We'll do it again. Double Tiramisu. Double Tiramisu. Did he get debated with Borload? Yeah, he's realizing it. 
Oh, shine, I got you baited. I got you baited. Lost World. Miscellaneous. We're going to summon an Arcosaur. We have Impermanence. We are unaffected by the Impermanence. We now cannot be targeted by card effects during either player's turn. Our monster cannot be targeted. Very good. Synchro Shokan into an Omni Negate with the Barload Savage Dragon. We also have another Negate with Dolka or Lagia. Lagia is going to negate a summon, spell, or trap. Very good. It's a Solemn Judgment. So we have Pop a Card, Negate, Negate, Flip Down Mate, and Double Monster Negate. The Field Spell is reducing one of our Negates. He's scooping, and he also cannot target cards in the fields. Holy shite. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God, what the hell is that? Rip. <laughs> it's not your fault. Victinium, I'm sorry. Shokan to the Nightmare Phoenix. Take out that single back row card. We're going all in. Double evolution pill. Banish, banish. Come forth and summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. With two dinos in the graveyard, we can summon another ultimate conductor, Tyranno. That is over 8,000 damage. Smack em, bop em, pow em. Back to Fortnite. And all under Misk, making him unaffected by activated card effects. Onto his dinos. <laughs> Gia, did you pair up Eldritch versus Eldritch? What? <laughs> Oh no, set for pass, Cursed Elden negates. Cursed Elden, if sent to the graveyard, will search, but it was not sent from the field to the graveyard. It was never on the field. It, the whole activation was negated. Uni zombie sending the Banshee. Banshee is going to grab a field spell. The field spell is going to turn everything into zombies in a zombie mirror match, but you need a zombie field spell or any field spell so you could summon Doom King. With the effect of the glow of Bloom. Bloom being sent to the graveyard summons the Doom King right from the deck thanks to the zombie world. The Doom King is going to be able to negate any zombie effect. Goes in match is going to lock us into dark monsters only. Well, the Eldritch is light. He can't summon Eldritch. We're going to summon Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Not a zombie while in the hands. So we can't activate the Doom King to banish a monster on the field or in the grave. What? We're getting rid of the Doom King to make... The Vendred Savior. Vendred Savior, can it destroy that by battle? Is he, it could make it small enough. You send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard, reduce their attack times two of the level of the monster you sent to the graveyard. Holy shite, sending Eldritch the Golden Lord to the grave. And during the standby phase, we're going to come forth and summon the Doom King. Doom King is here. Pot of pee, get digging. If you are playing Doom King and your opponent isn't, you win. Uh, you're just going to win. And the Zombie World Eldritch deck is going to become even more powerful when Fluanderese comes out next week. This is going to be one of the best ways to play Eldritch. Because Adventure Eldritch is going to be another very good way to play the deck. We battle in. We are Dragon Ice prisoning to grab the Eldritch. Why why not chain your L L oh you can't cuz the goes in match. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Goes in match forcing him to get both his monsters banished. Holy shite. He still sends another Eldritch from the deck to the graveyard. It probably only plays one Doom King though. That's it. Doom King is gone. Who would have thought that goes in would be winning the mirror match? What the shite? And he's got another Ice Dragon prison. He's going to banish the second Eldritch. If you're playing two Eldritch and one Doom King, are you playing a third Eldritch? Do you have room? You tell me. He's got all these Eldixers that are dead. He's going to have nothing to summon with them. He can't. He can't. He can't use any of his Eldixers. That's it. Double Eldritch and Doom King banished. That might be it. Wait, you have a, you, you have a third. He's got the third. The third Eldritch. The Mad Lad plays triple Eldritch, two Eldritch, and Doom King banished. He's got the third. I cannot believe he plays three. 
Eldritch Zombie Worlds is 50. Okay, you know, it's like it's half. It's half and half, about half and half play three or two. Good thing he's a part of the half that plays three. Aquero is going to banish a card from the graveyard. Now, all Clyde Strife has to do with his Aquero is banish the opposing Eldritch, and then that's his third and final one. That's it. Now, there is a zombie card that recycles a Banish Eldritch back in the deck. I forgot what it's called. Does anyone remember what it's... It's this one. Zombie Necronize. 33% playing one. You're going to shuffle your Banish Zombie back in the deck. We're going to dodge the Hakuero with the Eldlixer. Eldlixer was supposed to be dodging the Ice Dragon Prison, but the Gozen match locked him into Dark Monsters only. Eldlixer banishing Hakuero. Be careful when using Call to the Grave against Eldlich, because a good Eldlich player is going to have an Eldlixer ready to summon their Eldlich to dodge your Called by the Grave. Excuse me. Special summon a zombie from your hand or deck, not your graveyard. Holy shite. That's the third Eldlich. It's gone. Well, what do you do? Your opponent's at 100 life, but you're out of Eldlich. Is it possible to win? Cursed Eldlich. <laughs> there it goes to all. I can't believe Zombie World Eldlich lost to Eldlich. The Doom King's supposed to counter, but, you know, he did play well. He dealt with the Doom King. The Gozid match won the game. Reasoning, we're going to declare level three, then summon Eldlich. Wow, milling nothing. Eldlich off the top of the deck. Curse Eldlin, grabbing Conquistador, set, set, set. Back to you. It's going to be all about using the Ice Dragon Prison and the Hukueros to banish the Eldliches. We're going to Conquistador, negate the search, but then we're going to send an Eldritch from the deck to the graveyard. We are going to Hakuero banish the Eldritch. We don't have an Eldlixer to dodge the Hakuero. Set four pass, set an Eldlixer. Minus one Eldlich. We don't know how many Clyde Strife's playing. He could be playing two. We're going to Dogmatica, get the Eldlich in the graveyard, use the Entis to pop the Cursed Eldland. He's going to Psalm Strike, negate. Psalm Judgment, negate. Negate, negate, pop it, mate. Send from the deck to the grave. If he activates the Ice Dragon Prison, he's going to be able to use the Eldlixer to dodge it. He's using the Eldlixer early, and he's not using the uh, Ice Dragon Prison, not yet. Grab the Eldlich, banish the Doom King. Holy crap, he's going to get blown out by the Ice Dragon Prison. I can't believe this. He's going to get blown the F out. His third Eldlich is in the graveyard. Holy shite, you played into this so hard. Oh, okay, he's going to grab an Eldlixer. The Eldlixer will block the other Ice Dragon Prison. Okay, that Eldlich, that Eldlixer will protect him. He's protected, he's protected. If he could trick him into using these Eldlixers. Okay, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Ooh. I was close. He gonna be grabbing, grabbing the Hakuero. Hakuero, oh, he's using that early. Uh, you know, okay, get out of the graveyard now. You know, he, he knows he has another Eldixir. So he couldn't chain the Ice Dragon Prison. What? Gustav Max Cannon? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Minus 2K Keck W? What the shite is going on? Holy shite. Take out the Eldlich. Oh, 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 that's it. That's Eldlich number two. Eldlich number three is under the lead. It's under the lead. He's out of Eldlixers. If he can get the other Eldlich in the graveyard, then he's done. He's done. He doesn't have an Eldlixer. Uh-oh. He's in big trouble. He's in big trouble. Big trouble. Pot of E, rip it. No respect for impermanence. <laughs> no respect for impermanence. Grabbing Hakuero. How can he get that Eldritch in the graveyard? It's stuck on the leap. The Eldritch is in the freaking tank. Okay, there we go. Pop the leap. Now we got the prison. He has to Ice Dragon prison uh, before he could use an Eldlixer. He's got to chain it now, right? Can you banish it if they don't have a card? You could banish one monster from both players' field. You just steal the Eldritch. Is that worth it? No, 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 no. Okay, send all the zombies from the field to the graveyard. He could have stole his Eldritch, then kept it on the field. 
take out Hakuero. Now he's going to get an Elixir. He lost his opportunity to steal from the Graver, but he didn't have a way to banish anyway. So I guess that's okay. If you steal your opponent's Eldritch with the Dragonite's Prison, what could they do about it? What do they do? How do they get it in the graveyard if you steal their Eldritch? Steal it? You can't because of the, the there can only be one zombie on the field, so he cannot steal it. Wiping him out. Now you can't Hakuero Conquistador with the Eldritch. Holy shite. What is going on here? Should he have stolen the Eldritch while he could? If you activate one of your back row cards, summon the Lord under There Can Only Be One. There can only be one Lord and one Eldritch. You're okay. Dragonite's Prison is going to be negated by the Golden Land Forever. What the hell? What was he trying to steal? <laughs> he tried to steal the freaking Lieb. He tried to take the cannon. Going in, Hakuero blocked the attack. Dogmatica Punishment, take out the Hakuero. We're going to summon Eldritch from the graveyard, wipe out the Eldritch. He's got Lava Golem. Lava Golem, Fiend. He's got a rock, he's got a zombie, there can only be one Lava Golem. He can Lava Golem his field. He can do it. No, no, wait, 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 how does he stop this? Bro, if you flipped up goes and match, he couldn't do that. No way, wait, he actually loses, right? There's no way? If you chained Hakuero to Zombie World, then the Hakuero comes out, both become zombie, then you send Lava Golem to the graveyard. Am I wrong or am I right? What? Didn't he have an... That was his out. He could have chained Hakuero to Zombie World. Holy shite. He can't skill drain. <laughs> skill drain at 1,000 life, yes. The best play. Go <laughs> desperately flipping up the Gozen match. Just skill drain. Come on, Clyde Stripe. You flip up the skill drain. It's that easy, man. Come on. Oof. <laughs> no. No. Oh, geez. Pot of E. Banish. 10. Draw 2. We set 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 in. Let's get to it. We got Zombie World, Uni Zombie, Santa Zombie, Negate with the Skill Drain, smacking him for 1300 Keg W, Quadra Set, Pass. Now what? Uh, we got our own. We got another Pot of E. Pot of E versus Pot of E. Draw two. Thank thee. Aquero, come forth. That's not going to do anything, but it will help us get an Eldlixer. We're going to send them to the graveyard for the Vendred Savior. The Goza match could lock us into Dark Monsters only. Elixir, come forth and block the attack. You could still attack into it to send a zombie from the deck. Wait. Attack. Okay, it's not a skill drain. It's okay. It's a cost of send from the deck to the graveyard. Very good. Summon an attack is the correct play. The Doom King's going to come out during the next standby phase. The Doom King will be negated by skill drain. Skill drain, not so good in the mirror match, but if they're playing a Doom King, you negate the Doom King. Now it's good. To get rid of the skill drain, you want Eldritch in the hand, plus another spell trap to send the skill drain to the grave. Completely negated, but will be coming out every standby phase unless we banish it with the Hakuero. Goes in match. We're going to Solemn Judgment. <laughs> negate, negate, negate. Now, as soon as we used our own Solemn Judgment, we blocked our own Conquistador from even popping a card in the field. So this Solemn Judgment was not necessary to stop the Conquistador unless you just wanted him to not negate and destroy the Gozen match. So you're putting high value on the Gozen match. The Conquistador is already not going to work. Take him out. Elixir, we're now not locked into Dark Monsters. We're going to be summoned. So maybe the Goza match is not even good anymore. Well, you know, the Goza match is stopping the Doom King from coming out. Doom King cannot come out. We're going to grab a Golden Land Forever, which will be able to negate anything from the opponent by tributing our zombie. Swinging into the Eldritch, going to block the attack with our own Hakuero. Both of them going to the graveyard. They could both set an Eldritcher from the deck. We're sending our limited to one Conquistador to the graveyard to summon Eldritch. 3,500 attack, 3,800 defense, indestructible, banishing our limited to one Conquistador to grab that Eldixir. 
I never really see people summon. Uh, the, the Lord actually can't be summoned because of the Gozen match. We're locked in a light monsters only. Conquistador come forth, popping his own Gozen match, and then he scoops. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Damn. Uh, pop your own Gozen match to win. It works. <laughs> 